Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Persona 5 Royal. We're in our second episode here. So, our goal is to live an honest student life. A noble goal indeed. So, we're just going to go to bed. I feel exhausted. Maybe it's because of all of the weird stuff that's been happening to me. Yeah, that castle stuff was really weird. There was a lot of strange things that happened in the last episode. So, let's get going. And that music always lets you know that you're back in the Velvet Room. About time you've come to! On your feet, inmate! Our master wishes to speak with you. It's for your own sake that you take his words to heart. First off, let us celebrate our reunion. Oh, you've awakened to your powers, and special ones at that. Your rehabilitation can finally begin. My powers? There is no need to understand it all for the time being. You will be training the power of Persona, which you have awakened to. Personas are, in other words, a mask, an armor of the heart when confronting worldly matters. That's what our sin is. I have high expectations for you. And Zoro for Morgana. What do you mean? What expectations? There is no need to worry. You will learn when the time comes. By the by, have you come to appreciate the Metaverse Navigator? Using it will allow you to come and go between reality and palaces. The what now? Metaverse Navigator? I bestowed it to you as a means to train you as a thief. The Metaverse Navigator is a gift from our master. You better take care in using it, inmate. Devote yourself to your training so that you may become a fine thief. It must be disheartening to make use of the Metaverse Navigator alone. Should there be others who would prove beneficial to you, I will grant it to them as well. This is all for you to grow as a most excellent thief. <laughs> it's time. Go back and enjoy whatever rest you might have. <laughs> Bossy little girls, aren't they? Hmm, rainy day, huh? So yeah, there's a couple things that I can talk about right now. So like he was talking about, personas are a mask, right? A mask that you wear. And um, there's a lot of interesting things going on with that. So if you want to kind of delve into uh, what this game is doing is they are creating literal manifestations of a lot of the ideas that Carl Jung created in psychology. So Jungian psychology is something that um, is deeply pulled from to create this game and to create the Persona series as a whole. And there's a lot of things going on with that. The ideas of shadows, personas, masks, all of those things come from Jungian psychology. So that's something that you might want to look into and something that I might talk about more in the future. Um, but basically, it's kind of these ideas that everybody wears different masks in different social situations. And throughout their lives, they wear a bunch of different personalities and masks. And personas are a literal manifestation of that. So I had a dream. Fate and awakening? It's some cool stuff. More importantly, I need to hurry and get ready for school. Seriously? What was the conductor thinking, charging into the station at top speed like that? Didn't you hear? The guy totally lost it. It's been happening a lot lately. All these accidents are because people are suddenly losing their minds, right? Uh, what's going on? Well, between the economy sucking and how depressing the news always is, it's not all that surprising. Apathy, man. Look, isn't that her? <gasps> I see you, Kasumi. You mean that one with the red ribbon? Uh, I guess so. She's so thin. It's not fair. I've got my hair in a ponytail, too. <laughs> okay, and what's that got to do with being thin? Right? <laughs> what? Mm. 
Please, take my seat. Okay, my so seat she's a doll, out. too. Are you sure? Oh, then. I'm already a fan. Oh, wow, I'm a jerk. Speed. I mean, excuse me, that seat was for this lady. Oh. You don't want me to wake him up? <laughs> it's all right. I can understand his position as well. I'm sorry I couldn't be any help. It's all right, dearie. Don't you worry. Please allow me to carry your luggage at least. <laughs> Thank you. What a saint. Ain't it heavy, though? Not at all. I train plenty. I think she's supposed to be a dancer or a gymnast. Thank you so much for earlier. I'm not sure which. Yeah, um... I didn't really do much. For speaking up when I offered my seat on the train. You're a second year at Shujin Academy, correct? I'm a first year there myself. Thinking you totally slipped my mind back on the train, and I didn't want to be rude to my senpai. Please excuse me. All right, all right. I don't think they've given her, given us her name yet, but we already know from all the uh, promotional material her name is Kasumi. I feel so down when it's raining. I guess we're playing volleyball in the gym for PE today. I am not looking forward to that. Why did I have to be on the same team as Takamaki? I feel so awkward around her. Isn't she too busy being a famous supermodel to come to high school? That's what I would have figured, but we can't just blow her off either. You know, the whole Kamashita thing? Dealing with her is such a hassle. I wish she'd just not come to school. That's freaking rude. So what's this deal with, uh, with Takamaki-san and uh, Kamashita, huh? Sounds um, pretty gross. Sounds pretty gross, even for those who have loose standards. And I don't have very loose standards when it comes to that kind of thing. Sorry, but yeah, that's that's really messed up. I seem to have made it to school safely. What was that castle, though? Yeah, I guess this time uh, we didn't have a surprise on the way to way to school, huh? Class is starting. I'm the social studies teacher, Mr. Ushimaru. I'll be teaching you the rules of society this year. Huh, you all look like you've been spoiled growing up. Can't wait to see who disappoints me the most this year. <laughs> He's a ball of joy. A certain dictionary defines a year as a period of 365 disappointments. <laughs> That's a great line. The book's title is about as cynically about as cynically satirical as the rest of it. It's The Devil's Dictionary by Ambrose Bierce. Hey, new kid. What's the answer? Tell me what the Devil's Dictionary defined as the chief factor in the progress of the human race. Oh my god, the questions are going to be different in this game? Oh no. Did they take away? They took it away. They took away the pole. Ho <laughs> ho ho ho. So I'm going to have to actually try and get these right. Okay, so they asked us, tell me what the Devil's Dictionary defined as the chief factor in the progress of the human race. Experience, money, intelligence, the Devil's Dictionary, huh? Disappointments. Probably something, well, it's satirical, right? So it's going to be really negative and satirical, and yeah. So progress of the human race is probably going to say money. <laughs> Damn it. Well, there goes my social stat run. Humph, I didn't expect you to know. The correct answer is malefactors or villains. Remember that. Sure, villains can affect the course of history, but remember that this definition is a sardonic witticism, nothing more. Here in the real world, villains don't push humanity forward. All they do is spread chaos and strife. I guess he doesn't study after all. We should stay away from him. Oh no. Crap, the teacher's looking at us. I know you've all heard the reports of these agitators stirring up trouble. We don't have any room for criminals here. Not in school and not in society. Am I clear? Well, damn. So if I would have gotten that right, I actually would have gotten a uh, social stat add-up to my intelligence. 
So, yeah, rip my uh, stat run. Of course, that's a joke. Missing one is not going to ruin your run, but if you miss too many, it really could be quite the hindrance. I hear this incredible first year came. Wow, that girl in the ribbon is really thin. Is she a first year? Damn, all people do is, like, talk behind people's back, huh? The delinquent and the honor student arriving at the same time? Uh-oh, so she's new as well, huh? Assault, blackmail, drugs, he's done it all. You know it. I hear he carries around a knife. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't. Hey there, Takamaki. Ugh. Things have been pretty dangerous lately with all those accidents. Sorry, I have a photo shoot today. It's for the special summer issue, so I can't afford to miss it. Well, she doesn't seem to like him that much. Hey now, being a model's fine and dandy, but don't work your pretty little self to the bone. Oh, that's you such a gross you line. feeling well, right? Something about appendicitis? Yes, I keep planning to go to the hospital, but I've been too busy. Sorry to worry you. You must be lonely, too. I feel bad for keeping your best friend at practice so often. Oh, and... Be careful around that transfer student. He's got a criminal record, after all. If something were to happen to you... Thank you. Please excuse me. Yep, yeah, she's uncomfortable. <sighs> that reaction, though. Yo! I'll tell you what. They do a good job of making a villain in this guy. You don't even know the half of it yet. What's up? I want to talk about that castle from yesterday. I tried telling myself it was all just a dream, but I couldn't do it. I can't act like nothing happened. It's all connected to that bastard Kamoshida, after all. I want to find out what's up with that place, no matter what. And you know, you're the only person I can rely on for this stuff, so you in? You know what? Sure. What's next? Let's figure this out. That was some weird shit. I'm interested. I want to get to the bottom of it. Nice! <laughs> okay, glad we're in this together. <laughs> I think we should just try and retrace our steps from yesterday. In the meantime, you're walking to the station, right? Let's go together. Let me know if you notice any other weird buildings on the way. Ryuji doesn't seem like a bad guy. I should probably just go along with this. He's not a bad guy. I like Ryuji. If a huge castle like that really exists, I'm sure we'll find it in no time. When did they build something like that, though? We walked that way from here, right? Hmm, maybe? Don't really remember. When you put it that way, I'm not so sure anymore. All right, this way. Let me know if you notice something. We're at school. There wasn't anything out of place along the way, right? I didn't see no castle either. Yeah, we must have made a wrong turn somewhere. Let's try again. Who? Again? All right. Don't worry, I won't mess up this time. Let's go. For real? <laughs> than we think it is? What do you think? How about we check on your phone? I already did that. But I didn't see anything like it around here. Huh? Phone. Hey, that reminds me. Didn't you have a navigation app thingy on back then? Yeah, you know, now that you say that, the navigation app. I don't know if it was or not, but I heard stuff that sounded like one coming from your phone. You know, didn't it say stuff like, returned to the real world or something like that? Let me see your phone for a bit. What's this eyeball looking thing? Yeah, I can't delete it. I've, I've tried. Several times. Wait, what? What a weird app. Oh, wait, this is it! I knew it! It is a navigation app! There's even your search history! Oh man, I'm such a genius! Yeah, you are. <laughs> Let's try using it. And people try to say Ryuji's dumb. 
I don't really know how. Then I'll do it. Kamoshida. Shujin Academy. Pervert. Pervert. Castle. Beginning navigation. <laughs> Here we go. And then we went in a certain direction and Oh, something's hey, happening. What are you? Huh? What the hell? This is a cool transition. I really, really like that. Look, it's the castle from yesterday. We made it back. That means what happened yesterday was for real too. Yeah, that was close. <laughs> Happened last time too, huh? What's with that outfit? I mean, it's not so bad, huh? You jelly. You like it? <laughs> Why not? What's going on here? This makes no effing sense at all. Hey. It's the cat. Stop making a commotion. Uh, you? The shadows started acting up, so I came here wondering what it could be. To think you guys would come back to the entrance when you barely managed to escape. What is this place? Is it the school? That's right. But it's a castle! Yeah, how does that work? This castle is the school, but only to this castle's ruler. The castle's ruler? I think you called him Kamoshida? It's how his distorted heart views the school. Kamoshida? Distorted? Explain it in a way that makes sense. <laughs> I shouldn't have expected a moron to get it. Ooh, harsh words. What did you say? <laughs> what was that? It must be the slaves captive here. For real? <laughs> oh shit, it's for real. We saw other guys held captive here yesterday. I'm pretty sure they're from our school. Most likely on Kamoshida's orders. It's nothing out of the ordinary. It's like that every day here. What's more, you two escaped yesterday. He must have lost his temper quite a bit. That son of a bitch! Ryuji? This is bullshit! You hear me, Kamushita? Doing that isn't going to open it, you know. Still, it seems you have your reasons. Hey, Mona Mona! Mona Mona. It's Morgana! <laughs> Do you know where those voices are coming from? You want me to take you to them? Nickname well, achieved. Well, I guess I could guide you there. But only if he comes with us. Why me? Uh. I just want to get a better look at your powers. Even if you don't agree. I bet this guy will go on even if he has to do it alone. Are you going to leave him? No. I won't. It's settled then. For real? Thanks, man. His favorite line. All right, let's do this. For Follow real. Me. This is our infiltration point. Ain't that where we escaped out of last time? That's right. Not barging in through the entrance is one of the basics of phantom thievery. How are we supposed to know about that stuff? I'll make sure to teach you as we go. Come on, follow me. <laughs> so, uh, sorry for dragging you into all of this, but I just can't forgive that bastard Kamoshida doing whatever the hell he wants. Nah, he's got this coming. Really, though, thanks for coming along. I owe you big time. Now I'm with you, man. Man, this place is as creepy as always. Mm hmm. Now make sure you do exactly as I say. All right? Follow me. Uh... Hey, we went by here when we came in the front. Uh, what the? I was seeing double or something just now. Was that Shujin? 
I've told you before, this place is your school. Regardless, we don't have time to stand around. Who knows when a shadow might show up? Let's go. Come on, this way. All right. Shoot. Time to get into I some fights. I feel there would be guards here. It looks like we're going to have to start fighting our way forward. Uh, for real? Oh boy. <laughs> I'll just teach you the basics of battle for now. You'd better not forget all of this. Always try to ambush enemies instead of rushing everywhere headlong. Attack from behind whenever you can. You'll need to rip their masks off to momentarily break the control that the palace ruler has over them. If you succeed, your opponent will be caught off guard, allowing us to jump in for a preemptive attack. I swear, they added more for reals into the game. <laughs> when you attack a nearby enemy by pressing X, a battle will begin. Watch for a red icon to appear when you are in range. Um, if you approach the enemy from behind without being noticed, the ambush icon will appear. Attack at that moment for an edge in battle. Yep, you definitely so do want to do it. get the jump on him and make the first strike. As much as possible. Okay, got it. Uh, you know you're just going to be watching, right? You don't have a persona. <laughs> but anyway, let's go. Hey man, he's listening. I'll reveal your true you? form. Ambush them and rip their masks off. So these are shadows, we've got personas. Now, if you look here, we know that he's weak to Garu, so we could take advantage of that, but most likely right here at the start, I'm just gonna attack him. Save up some SP. If there were more enemies, we may actually want to, you know, take advantage of some of the weaknesses, but with it only being one, it seems like a an okay strategy to just mash mash him to death. Mm, okay. I love those end screens. They're so good. How do they... This game. This game. It's just... Oh, I've missed you. I have missed you. Why ain't anyone here? Damn it! They were here before! Where'd they go? Quiet down! Oh yeah, there were more of them further in, too. They might have been transferred already. Crap, I can hear footsteps coming. Lots of them. It would be a problem if they discovered us now. Yeah, you better hide. Hey, let's head into that room. We should be able to hide in there until they leave. You know, they're making a lot of really small changes throughout these areas that are the same, and I'm actually really digging it. The shadows probably won't come in here. How can you tell? There's a lack of distortion here, meaning the ruler's control over this area is weak. Is this a classroom? Now do you understand? This place is another reality that the ruler's heart projects. This is Kamoshida's reality? Ugh, shit makes no sense <laughs> at all! One could say it's a world in which one's distorted desires have materialized. I call such a place a palace. A palace? This is happening because he thinks the school is his own castle. So it became like this because he just thought of it like that? <laughs> that son of a bitch! You must really hate this Kamashita guy. Hate doesn't even cover how I feel. He deserves every bit of it, too. Everything is that asshole's fault. I don't know what happened between you two, but don't let your emotions get the better of you. His lackeys are everywhere inside. You're curious about your outfit, aren't you? Yeah, I'm curious as hell about it, too. That's also because of this world. More stuff that makes no sense. Anything distorts according to how a ruler pleases within his palace. A school can turn into a castle like this, after all. In order to prevent such distortions, one must hold a powerful will of rebellion. Your appearance is a manifestation of that. It's the image of rebellion that you hold within. Uh, I'm so fed up with all this. <laughs> I'm more curious about you than his clothes. What the hell are you anyways? It's a good question. I'm a human. An honest to God human. No, you're a cat. No, you're <laughs> obviously more like a cat. 
This is, well, it's because I lost my true form. Tell me more. I think. <laughs> you think? But I do know how to regain my true form. The reason why I snuck in here was for a preliminary investigation of those means. Well, I ended up getting caught, though. Besides, I've been tortured by Kamoshita, too. I'm gonna make him pay for sure. What is this, a comic book? This is seriously crazy. If we're gonna keep going, we should hurry along. I'll be counting on your skills this time, too, rookie. Got it? Don't worry, I'm not gonna force it all on you. I thought it might help, so... I brought this just in case. Holy shit. It's a model gun, though, so it only makes sounds. Well, thank goodness That's for that. That's a toy! <laughs> but it looks totally real, so it'll at least fake him out. Oh, I brought some medicine, too. You know what they say, providing is pre-something. Huh? <laughs> huh? So you were planning this from the start. Oh, Ryuji. Well, fine. If you're ready to go, we'll resume our infiltration. The... 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 I'm, I don't even know, man. I shouldn't even try, really. There are probably still sentries making their rounds out there. Let's use this time to hash out our current situation. In a safe room, you can consult with your teammates and save your game by pressing options. You can also save at the palace entrance. Okay, let's see what they have to say. I probably won't do this a lot. Damn it. Where'd those guys who are locked up go? They probably got moved to another location. But where and why? Don't ask me. Well. But there were soldiers around, right? Maybe we could try eavesdropping on them. Well then. Let's eavesdrop on the soldiers outside. We might be able to learn something from them. You got I'll it. I'll just add this. So, we're definitely gonna save. Put this onto a new line. Now then. There should still be soldiers outside. Let's take note of the situation and get out there. Hmm, I thought I just heard something move over there. Guess it was my imagination. And what are the slaves? They're all in the training hall. I'd assume they're screaming in pain by now. <laughs> Lovely. Very well. By the way, I heard we may have intruders around. Stay on your guard. Stay on your guard. Words are hard sometimes, hmm. guys. Hmm. Did you hear that? Sure did. They said training hall, right? Okay, let's I go. I think that's just a little further ahead. Oh, there's a guard on duty here. The way to the training hall should be just beyond those bars. So, what are we gonna do? Do we gotta fight it? Seems like it. Just don't let it notice you beforehand. If it does, the palace's security level will rise. Alright, security level. When you're spotted by an enemy, the security level will rise. This is shown on a gauge in the upper left. As the security level rises, it will become more difficult to investigate the palace, so be careful. Uh, and what do we do if that happens? Run away? Well, the security level will go back down if we can beat more enemies without getting noticed. That sounds, uh, complicated. <laughs> it's not. Fine. I'll put together some info about the security level. This is crucial to successful palace infiltration. So make sure you actually read it, okay? No. Um, honestly, I actually think they did change this system. So maybe I will need to read this at some point, but until I feel the need, I'm not going to. Security level, se uh, security level, reduction, and 0% security level are now part of the tutorial menu. Okay. Tutorials you have seen before can be viewed in the main menu. Press triangle to open the menu, select system, tutorial. You got it. <sighs> nah, we didn't get the ambush because he saw us a little bit. They may be a little bit less forgiving than they were in the first game now. Um, the first game was fairly forgiving when it came to uh, <laughs> ambushing. Okay, not weak to Aya or Curse. Not weak to Garu. So in that case, we can just rush attack them. I'm gonna go ahead and heal. Keep things nice and safe. Now I could also, you know, use my uh, HP attack, and that probably would have done more physical damage. 
So that could have been an option okay. there as well. Okay, down to 30. So yeah, that's one of the changes that they made, huh? I read up on a couple of the changes in a spoiler-free post, and uh, you basically hmm. start with a higher security level. Um, in the original, you started with a security level of zero. But it looks like now when you go into dungeons, it starts hey. a little higher. The training hall's up ahead, right? Yeah, it's a little further. Make sure you watch out for any guards along the way. Oh yeah, that's right. Pushing square, you can do auto-recover. Um, we'll talk about that in a bit, but it's not something we'll be using, really. Not a lot. I'll use it every once in a while, but it'll be used sparingly. Oh, that's right. This is a tutorial. Hey, have you seen anyone who looks like an intruder? No, nobody yet. Shoot. I had a feeling there would be a lot of enemies. It'd be impossible to dodge all of them. Then what do we do? Should we try and take him down like before? It's not that simple. We still have a long way to go, so we should be conserving energy. And SP. I... I see. Sorry. Damn it. I wish I could fight. I'd at least be able to help out a little bit. But all I got is this toy from earlier. <sighs> Such a loser. Huh? Do you mean that gun? Yeah. It looks real and all, but it doesn't shoot anything. You know, I swear that they have updated the lighting system in this game, too. It just looks a lot better, more dynamic. I see. Well, there is a way. Look at that face. Okay, we'll use that to take down the enemies. What? Were you listening to me? It don't even shoot pellets. <laughs> don't worry. I'm sure this will work. Attack away, frizzy hair. You got it. You leave it to me, cat. Dude, I, I keep saying it's not going to fire anything. the gun with you, right? Point it at a shadow and fire. Gun attacks. Gun attacks are considered a gun skill. Press uh, up on the D-pad to ready your gun, then X to attack. You can continue shooting until you run out of am ammunition. You can also change targets between shots. So, pull out our gun. Boom. All right, it's fairly effective against uh, this mandrake. Interesting. It looked like about that. Surprised. There are plenty of instances where rapid fire is going to be more useful than swinging your knife. Of course, you can run out of ammo, but using it all up does more good than letting it collect dust. <laughs> Gun properties and ammo restoration. This is a change that needed to happen. Guns have a higher attack power than melee weapons, but they have a limited amount of ammunition. However, your ammunition will be restored after the battle, so feel free to use it all up. Oh my gosh. All right, I'll show you my weapon too. Guns are useful for more than just a weakness? Oh, oh, that's so good. Guns were next. All right, they weren't useless because some enemies have weaknesses to guns but basically they were only useful against people who had weaknesses to guns. So now they just made guns actually useful and they replenish your ammo. You used to only have a set amount of ammo for an, for an entire dungeon run. And then um, basically you would get it back the next time you entered a dungeon on a different day. It was awful. <laughs> it made guns very, very ugh, bad. This is a great change. I support this 100%. For real? Whoa, did that toy gun just shoot real frickin' bullets? This is a cognitive world. As long as our opponent sees it as real, it becomes such. It's a good thing it's realistic looking. I don't get it. You should study Yume and Dream Listen Theory. Because they recognize it as a gun, your ammo capacity is limited in battle. But your enemies are expecting you to come at them with guns loaded, so your ammo's replenished in every new fight. <laughs> What's your... What's this commotion over here? What? Why, you bastards! You killed my friend! Get ready, here comes another one. Let's get them. Take him down. Our ammo's replenished. Go on, dump it into the enemy. <laughs> you got it.
Huh, that is really interesting. Hmm. Just like I thought. Hmm. All our ammo had returned all our ammo had returned for that fight. I wasn't sure whether or not to bring it at first, but I'm sure glad I did. I'm glad you did too, Ryuji. Nice. We're definitely lucky to have the additional firearm arm in our arsenal. I must say, well done, even if it was just dumb luck that it worked here. Hmm? <laughs> did you really have to put it like that? <laughs> the shade. Quick riping, Blondie. You're still getting praised. Oh, by the way, we should decide how we divvy up our roles in battle from here on out. As you can see, there are quite a lot of enemies. It'll be important to coordinate our moves well. I can keep providing intel for us, but you should decide how we fight, Frizzy Hair. Hmm? What do you mean by how we fight? Basically, what we do in battle. He can order us directly or let us decide what we do. Though, I guess I'm the only other one fighting right now. Party tactics. I already changed this, so... You can change your party member's actions during battle by assigning tactics, tactics to them. You can either set a particular course of action for them to take or choose to control them directly. You can assign tactics by going to stats in the triangle menu. You can also change tactics by pressing L2 on Analog's turn, then select tactics under the order menu. What do you want to do? So what's the plan? Want me following orders or acting on my own? Um, definitely direct commands. Yep. Understood. Let's see what you've got. Better moves than what you would choose to do. Oh shit. We'll wait for him to turn around. And ambush. I'll reveal and your true you. form. Alright. Ooh. The first move is on. New battle music. Okay. Wow. Enemy. We're gonna be able to save a ton of SP here. At least in the beginning when these guys are really weak. Um, I'm sure that as we get a little bit further, that won't be <laughs> All right. a valid tactic. A guard. I'm pretty sure that's where we need to be going, too. You guys gonna take it down again? I guess that's our only choice. But wait, this might be a good time. For a tutorial. Okay, decided. I'm gonna teach you two a special way to fight enemies. Oh, and it's so good. A new technique? Something like that. Let's go. Listen, there's a distinct flow to battles. Let me show you. After all, seeing is... something? <laughs> Believing? First, knock down all the enemies. Everything starts at that crucial step. Okay. So, knock down the enemies. Persona. We could use Aya. Now, I think that... Oh, they're going to make me use Aya. Okay. We'll use Aya. I think Pixie's weak to guns. Now rush on in for an all-out attack. Of course, that could have changed in this version. Mm, look how rich the colors are. Oh, it's so beautiful. So pretty. Hmm, that went really well. You're definitely fit for this. I know. What was that super move thing you just did? <laughs> I told you, it's called an all-out attack. If you manage to knock all the enemies down, you might be able to use it to beat them all at once. Yeah, that was over quick. It's a concentrated attack on defenseless enemies, after all. Now, as I mentioned before, I want you to be the head of our command. You can decide when we use this. You got it. All right, you can initiate an all-out attack from a hold-up by pressing triangle. All-out attacks are ultimate attacks, which deal heavy damage to all foes. However, you cannot use one if Analog cannot act, or if only he can act, which includes if he has a status ailment. Strike the enemy's weakness, knock them all down, then do an all-out attack. That's the ideal pattern. I guess that would be the only instance, because actually in this game, you may not know this, but if uh, Analog goes down in a fight, that's game over. Main character cannot die in this game. Tutorials you have seen before can be viewed in the main menu. We know this. We're good. We're good. Okay. Um, yeah, no items. We haven't gotten our uh, thief vision yet. Yes. All right, this is it. Kamashita's training hall of love? What kind of bullshit is this? For real, what is this? 
I don't know if I want to go in there. With a title like that? Y yeah. This voice, where's it coming from? Hmm. Whoa! Oh, is it coming from over there? Yeah. Damn it! This is bullshit! How many times do I have to tell you to keep your voice down? What the hell? But this is beyond messed up! How do I open this? Stop it! Leave us alone. It's useless. Huh? If we stay obedient, we won't be executed like you guys. You're telling me you want to stay in a place like this? Wait a minute. Were you planning on taking these guys out of here? We can't just leave them here. How stupid can you be? What? These are only humans in Kamoshida's cognition. They aren't real humans that have entered from reality. They're different from you two. Cognition? It means there's no point in saving them. They're different from the real ones in the real world. You could say that these are extremely similar looking dolls. The hell? Why's it gotta be so complicated? <laughs> it's not that complicated, Ryuji. So the school's a castle and the students are slaves. It's so on point that it makes me laugh. This really is the inside of that asshole's head. Yep, it is. This is really how he sees himself and Still, how he sees horrible. his world. It must mean he treats them as slaves in the real world, too. Yep. In the real world, too? Wait, I know these guys. They're members of the volleyball team, the one Kamoshida coaches for. They must be physically abused every day. There's no way they'd be so beat up normally. Don't tell me. They're going through similar shit in reality? Most likely. I mean, this proves that Kamoshida thinks of them as slaves. So it might be for real. I heard that Kamoshida is using physical punishment. They're just rumors, but... If they're true, wouldn't this be something to report to the police? I'll use these guys as evidence. If it all goes well, we can take down that asshole Kamoshida. Huh? Sounds like a good it's goal to me. We can use the navigation app, but the camera's a no-go? A navigation app? That's what we used to come here. What about yours? My camera app won't open. Whatever you do is fine, but we're gonna get caught if we stand around like this. We need to head back. Hang on a sec. There's no other way. I'll just memorize their faces before going home. I guess that's one way to do it. Figure out which ones he's abusing. Let's go. I mean, it checks out. If these are actual representation of people on the team, he can recognize them and know which ones are getting the worst of it, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, he calls this his dungeon of love. Um, the dude's messed up. Water. Ah, uh, please, no more. Not giving athletes water even for tough training is a common thing in the real world, too. That sack of shit. I'm gonna try and memorize all these guys' faces before we go back. Okay, I'm done. Let's check and see if there's any more. What do you got to say, buddy? How you doing? I don't know why you guys are here, but just leave us alone. Hey! What are you talking about? You're seriously okay with this? <sighs> there's no point trying to talk to him. Oh my god. It hurts, it hurts. Come on, man. The hell? This ain't training at all. It's just violence. This means he's been doing something similar in reality, too, right? Damn, that bastard. You're gonna see an example of this. You just wait, guys. Oh, my bad. I gotta hurry this up. Give me a sec and I'll memorize him as quick as I can. What are your thoughts? Hey, are you done yet? We're cutting it close here. Don't freak me out like that, you goddamn moron. Yeah. Anyways, I got all of them. Then let's stop wasting time. We need to scram. All right, nothing else at the end here. One more person to talk to. I don't want people to glare at me like they do to you. Don't drag me into your mess. What? 
that don't matter. You seriously don't care about getting treated like shit? I guess there ain't a point in saying any of this. So they would rather be abused like this than be seen as a rebel like Sakamoto or myself. It's really messed up, isn't it? Just the way that they live their life, the way that they view their world is, ugh. It's dark, it's sad. Yes. Hurry, we need to get out of here, quick. Let's go. All right, we're back. We gotta get out of here, quick. The watch post near the training hall has ceased reporting. Chances of intruder activity are extremely high. All personnel increase security measures. Oh, man. Oh, we stayed here too long. Come on, let's get out of here. This way. The exit's this way. Let's hurry. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ugh, you knaves again? To think you'd make the same mistake again. You're hopeless. The school ain't your castle. I memorized their faces real good. You're going down. It seems it's true when they say barking dogs seldom bite. How far the star runner of the track team has fallen. What the hell are you getting at? I speak of the track trader who acted in violence, ending his teammates' dreams. Oh, I can only imagine the pain of the others who were dragged under with your selfish act. What do you want about, man? The track trader? The hell do you mean? What a surprise. So you're accompanying him without knowing anything at all. He betrayed his teammates and crushed their hopes. Yet he still carries on as carefree as ever. <laughs> That's not true! What a tragedy! You blindly trusted this fool, and he's led you right to your death. Hurry up and dispose of them. I can't stand their stench. Oh, let's... Can we punch him? Let's punch him. God damn it! Ryuji, move! We're surrounded. I'll kill you. I'll kill you because King Kamashita told us. I'll kill because that's what he wants. It's a bad way to live your life, man. Dirty two horned beast. I'll cut you up. There's more of them? This is bad. <laughs> Can't be. Well, that's game over. It's scripted. It's fine. Oh, oh. you piece You tell him, Morgana. Don't hurt the cat, man. That's. Ugh. I bet you simply came here on a whim and ended up like this. Isn't that right? No. What a worthless piece of trash, getting emotional so quickly. How dare you raise your hand at me? Though it was only temporary, have you forgotten my kindness in supervising track practice? It wasn't no practice, it was physical abuse! You just didn't like our team! It was nothing but an eyesore. The only one who needs to achieve results is me. So Ryuji got to experience it firsthand on the track team, huh? That coach who got fired was hopeless, too. Had he not opposed me with a sound argument, I would have settled it with only breaking his star's leg. And there it is. What? Do you need me to deal with your other leg, too? <laughs> the school will call it self-defense anyway. Damn it. Am I gonna lose again? Not only can I not run anymore, the track team has gone too because of this asshole. So messed up. So that's why. Once these two are dealt with, you're next. <laughs> Imagine that. He was the star track student too. Which means that like he could have had like a future there. 
could have gotten him into college. Could have gotten him. Could have gotten him paid for college, you know? Ugh. Ryuji! You gotta stand up for yourself. Get up. You're right. Everything that was important to me was taken by him. I'll never get him back. Stay there and watch. Look on as these hopeless scum die for nothing because they sided with trash like you. No, that's what you are. All you think about is using people. You're the real scumbag, Kamoshida! What are you doing? Silence him! Stop looking down on me with that stupid smile on your face! Oh, let's go. You made me wait quite a while. <laughs> you seek power, correct? Then let us form a pact. Since your name has been disgraced already, why not hoist the flag and wreak havoc? The other you who exists within desires it thus. I am thou. There is no turning back. The skull of rebellion is your flag henceforth. <laughs> what can you do? His mask is cool. Cower in fear and watch. <laughs> oh. oh, the blood makes it so much worse. Take sacrifice. Looking at your true self can hurt sometimes, guys. No, this is real. But it'll give My you power. Lord. What's up, Persona? This effing rocks! <laughs> now that I got this power, it's time for payback! Yo, I'm ready. Bring it! Don't mock me, you brat! Oh damn. All right, let's go. Blast him away, Captain Kid. <laughs> so Captain Kid isn't actually fictional. Real guy from history. He's a pirate. Your troublemakers that bother King Kamoshida with trifle matters. Kamoshida's cognition ain't changing, right? Then I'll act like the troublemaker I am. Dude, look at that portrait. Let's do this, Captain Kid. But yeah, so uh, Captain Kidd was a Scottish pirate, and uh, I think in the, like, the 1700s or something, uh, late 1600s, early 1700s, Ready somewhere around are. there, and uh, yeah, he was hanged later in life for being a pirate. Alright, so we just got a new character, he's got Zeo, Zeo is our electric damage, and uh, let's see if these guys are weak to it. I'm going to suspect that they are, considering he's our new character. Oh, lovely. You know, Ryuji does not have the highest accuracy, so yeah. Let's we'll see how this does. Not bad. Should I do it again? Okay, we got one of them. We used up a bunch of our ammo, but hey. Okay, let's just hit him twice, see if we can get that kill. We got it, good. Does more damage when they're already downed, so not bad at all. Um, let's try a cleave. Go down. Get some extra damage, and I'm gonna heal up Ryuji. We gotta just like, you saw that that was half of his health. So we gotta keep them topped off. He's really going after him, huh? Okay, not a weakness, but a lot of like bosses like this are not gonna have weaknesses. Come. Let's try Aya. All right, he resists uh, curse damage. You're our support, so you just keep Sorry. keep him up. Don't want anybody to die here. Persona! Ryuji also has pretty good strength. So I could try his um, physical attacks. See how he does there. I am a loyal subject of the glorious King Kamoshida. So why 
Have I lost? It just proves the Kamoshida ain't anything special. Yep. We're just better than you, man. Chose the wrong king. Find a new master. How about that? <laughs> Whoa. So Ryuji had the potential too. She got a cool outfit. Even if you apologize now, I ain't forgiving you. I told you that this is my castle. It seems you still don't understand. Yeah, what's up? Oh, what a marvelous and beautiful girl! Now is not the time, Morgana. What's going on? Yeah, something's not right about this. This is not the on that I've seen. Uh, yeah, now that you mention it, I guess we only know her Takamaki right here? now. Hey, let go of her, you perv! How many times must I tell you until you understand? This is my castle, a place in which I can do whatever I want. Everyone wishes to be loved by me. That is, everyone besides slow-witted thieves like you. Takamaki, say something! Calm down, Ryuji. It seems that girl isn't the real one. She's the same as those slaves. A being made from Kamashita's cognition of her. Are you jealous? Well, I'm not surprised. Women aren't drawn to problematic punks like you. Damn it! Actually, I think it's the opposite, isn't it? <laughs> I know lots of women who go for people that are uh, problematic punks, quote unquote. <laughs> We're not gonna do anything and just run? Hey, we can't die here. Thank God you've got a level It's head. only a cognition. We don't need to save a cognition. Fine. We'll expose what you really are no matter what. You better be ready for us. <laughs> I was beginning to get bored of torturing the ones here. Come at me whenever you want, if you don't care about your life. <laughs> Literally objectifying her. Ignore him. Oh. Let's go! Oh man. It's not good. I'm, I'm ready to destroy this guy. I don't know about you, but, uh... I'm ready. Anyways... I don't remember changing into this. <laughs> you look like a thug? Rude. Looks good on you. It's pretty cool, man. Uh... Should I be happy about that? Then again... It ain't as bad as yours. <laughs> Rude. Did you find them? Quiet! So what's going on? I'm completely lost, man. I told you before, when a Persona user opposes a palace's ruler and becomes a threat to them, this happens. It's to prevent you from being affected by distortions. Is this... a skull? Your appearance reflects your inner self. It's the rebel that slumbers within. Not that you'll get it. Nope. <laughs> then stop asking Comes questions it honestly. and accept what you see for what it is. <sighs> Easy for you to say. <sighs> Wait, we're in deep shit. I said to be quiet. We might have gotten away here, but we're still screwed with Kamoshida at the real school. That's quite sharp of you for being an idiot. Relax. <laughs> so much shade, the Morgana. Kamoshida in reality can't possibly know about what happens here. A shadow is the true self that is suppressed. A side of one's personality they don't want to see. So, we're okay? So that's really important. So anytime you see a character with yellow eyes, that is representative of a shadow, right? So with our characters, we only saw the yellow eyes like as we awaken to our persona. That's because before that point, they had not accepted their true selves yet. They had not recognized their true selves. The power of Persona is born out of them recognizing their true selves and accepting the parts of them that they may not necessarily like or want to, you know, um, acknowledge, let's say. 
and uh, so that's also why Kamashita shadow that's running around in this world has yellow eyes. It's his shadows. It's the darkest parts of him. Parts of him that he does not want to recognize, he does not like or acknowledge. Like, he knows he's a bad person out there, right? But he kind of, like, suppresses it, so it's his shadow, right? Whereas the persona is when you finally accept those parts of you, you can wear that mask and you can wear it openly, right? You're comfortable with it. it. Gives you more power. So there's a lot of things going on here. I'll talk about them a little bit as we go, but fun stuff. Did the Kamashita in reality remember about the execution? There you have it. All right. Now that we know that, all we gotta do is... Wait. I guided you as promised. It's your turn to cooperate with me. That's why I was super nice about teaching you idiots everything. I am not huh? an idiot, thank you very much. Don't you remember? I originally came here for an investigation. I need to erase the distortion from my body and regain my real form. That's why we must delve deep into mementos and... I'm sorry, what? Whoa, hold up. What are you going on and on about? We never said anything about helping you out. Huh? Don't tell me. Look at that portrait. Are you not going to repay the hospitality I showed you? Especially you. You're going to up and leave, even though you're already part of my master plan? Ooh, the guilt trip's real. I never promised anything. <laughs> and what See, plan? I wasn't lying. Is it because I'm not human? Because I'm like a cat? Oh, you're gonna pull Is that, that card, huh? You're making a fool of me? <laughs> We're busy. Thanks for everything, cat. <laughs> got guts being a cat and all. See you around. Bye bye. Hey! What the hell? Oh, seriously? Why are you wrapping this up like everything's all hunky dory? <laughs> oh, hell no! Get back here! All right, we pissed off the cat. You have returned to the real world. Welcome back. <sighs> Thank God, we're back. Yeah, I dragged you around a lot, huh? Ugh, sorry, man. <sighs> I'm dead tired. How are you holding up? I could use a nap, honestly. Me too. And I'm gonna sleep like a rock when I get home. But damn, if what we saw was for real, oh, this is gonna get good. I totally remember the faces of the guys Kamoshida was treating like slaves. Once we make him fess up to any physical abuse, Kamoshida will be done. So, wanna help me look for those guys or any witnesses? Yeah, sure, I'll help. I'm in this. Now that's what I'm talking about! Can't leave my friend hanging, you know? Hey, so... If you're thinking of laying low because you got a record, I don't think that'll help. Everyone already knows. They totally got you pegged as a criminal. Yeah. How did that happen anyway? Kamoshida opened his damn mouth. Probably. A teacher did that? No one else besides a teacher could have leaked it that fast. It doesn't matter if it's a student or a club. That asshole just wrecks things he doesn't agree with. Just like he did with me. No one will take anything I say seriously. Still, those rumors about him getting physical might be real. And after seeing Kamoshida's distorted heart thing in person, there's no way I can just sit back. Of course. I'm counting on you. Don't worry, I'm hyped about this too. I can sense a bond of trust coming from Ryuji. And this will be a nice introduction to another mechanic of this game. Acting as a phantom thief would have been more efficient alone. You could have gone about it that way. However, you did not. There are merits to having associates. That's what you decided. Am I wrong? <laughs> I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired.
acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the chariot persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Confidant, Ryuji Sakamoto, Arcana Chariot, Rank 1. So this is a really important mechanic in this game. Confidants are incredibly important, we'll be getting into it more. But this is also leads us into one of the other kind of like thematic ties that helps build this story, and that is the idea of Arcana and Tarot cards. So Tarot cards have a whole bunch of what are called Arcanas, and they all represent different things. Uh, tarot cards are what are used to do fortune telling. Um, they are also the basis for our playing cards that we use. Uh, th that we use playing cards. Uh, basically, playing cards were basically built from tarot. And uh, you know, each of these arcana have different meanings in when you're doing a reading. And you have what's called a um, upright card and a reverse card. And any card you get can have multiple different meanings um, for different characters. And so, a lot of characters, these confidants, are linked with specific arcana. And Ryuji's is the chariot. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what chariot means in tarot. And basically, when we complete his confidant at the end, we're going to talk about it again and talk about why these things might or might not have been relevant. Not everything on these tarot things will be relevant, but by the end you'll be able to see that a lot of the character was built from the ideas that were brought up based on their arcana. So once again we have upright cards and reverse cards. So this card is a card about overcoming conflicts and hardships. Um, when it's upright, it can mean that you are moving in a positive direction. Um, you can move in a positive direction through hard work, commitment, anything can be overcome. It can also refer to, you know, having ambition, drive, willpower, confidence, as well as the ability to overcome obstacles. If you have a reversed card, it could also mean that you lack direction and drive, and may be full of self-doubt. So those are some of the things that are tied to this card in this arcana. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll come back to that when we get to the end of the game and complete his arcana. We will talk about how those things were relevant in his story. Really All cool right. stuff, honestly. Really cool stuff. Oh, right. I haven't eaten anything since lunch. It'd be weird splitting off now. So why don't we grab a bite somewhere? What kind of food? Meat, man. Hell yeah. Just follow me. My kind of guy. I totally gotta hear about your past. Get that protein. What the hell, man? How much shittier can that asshole get? <laughs> we just told him the story of, uh, yeah. How we got in trouble. Eh. It's in the past. What can we do about Are it, you, you know? For real? If it was me, I wouldn't calm down until I punched that dick in the face. <laughs> so you left your hometown and <laughs> you're living here now, huh? That shift in conversation. Huh, we might be more alike than I originally thought. How so? Uh, it's not exactly how, but, you know. I guess it's how we're treated like a pain in the ass by the people around us. Like we don't belong. I did something stupid at school before, too. Tell me more. The place you're living now is in Yongen, right? Yep. It's rush hour on the subways. I suggest you kill some time before heading home. What the hell, man? You barely touched your food. What are you doing? <laughs> Let me do it. I gotta thank you for helping me. What was that? Anyways, Some kind of uh, I got your back, like you got mine from tomorrow. Topping or something as long that he as put we on do there? something about Kamoshida, I'm sure we'll both feel better about being at school. Oh yeah. Tell me your number. Oh, chat ID too. The chat app is now available. You may now occasionally receive messages from those close to you. Yes, you wait, Kamoshida. Coming We're for gonna you. We're going to start right away tomorrow. First, let's hit up those guys that were kept as slaves. 
The volleyball rallies tomorrow, huh? <laughs> Shit's recommended by Kamoshida. Makes me want to gag. But thanks to that, we got no classes in the afternoon, and we can walk around unnoticed. Well, I guess we can work out the details tomorrow. Come on, you gotta eat more. There's tons of ginger here. <laughs> So, about this plan to take down Kamoshida. Lower your voice, Ryuji. Gotta be careful, man. Ah, right. Ooh. Sayanakechi. Interesting. I haven't been sleeping well lately. Shiho. Whenever I close my eyes, I keep thinking about too many things. Shiho. Nationals are coming up soon, so I keep thinking, should someone like me really be on the starting lineup? Don't worry. Just be confident in yourself. Your skills have been recognized. It's all because you work harder than anyone else. <laughs> Yeah. Volleyball's all I have after all. Oh, that's sad. More importantly, was that injury okay? It looked really swollen. Like, there are some people who really feel that way in high school, too, and it's like... Oh, it's, it's, it's sad, because uh, that sports part of your life probably won't continue on. There are very few that take that on to college, and then beyond that, you know? No, it's nothing. It's normal. Especially since a meet's coming up. <sighs> you gotta have more in your life. Sorry to interrupt, Suzui. Um, Mr. Kamashita told me to get you. Huh? What does he want? Mm, these poor kids. He didn't say. <sighs> On, I... <sighs> It'll be fine. I bet it's a meeting about the starting lineup or something. You know it's not. <laughs> yeah. Well, I better go. On's a lot of things. Yep. Good luck. But she's not dumb. Hang in there, Shiho. Hmm. Hmm. You're home. I take it you actually went to school today? I sure did. <laughs> I guess you learned your lesson after what happened yesterday. I just didn't want to get chewed out as by Pops again. As long as you're not again. getting into trouble, it's fine by me. I don't know what you've been up to, but trust me, you'll be gone if you start causing problems. In case you forgot, your life is not a free one right now. And he will not let you forget it. Hey, look at the app now. It's got little flowers and stuff. Hey, I decided to go ahead and message you. Can you see this? Yep. I'm gonna be counting on you tomorrow, okay? Got it. You're a bro, man. Well, see you tomorrow. Let's save these guys who have been getting abused. You and me. Are you even listening to me? <laughs> Just stay away from bad influences, okay? Kids these days, right? Am I right, Sajiro? Hey. I'm gonna head home for the night. I'll lock the store up. Don't go wandering out. Alright, Pops. I'll go straight to bed. But, we're gonna do that after Let's we save, it. because guess what? This episode has gone long. So, thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And, I'll see you all next time. Have a good one.